Hello everyone, welcome. This is the SEC Fanatic YouTube exclusive preseason preliminary. This is the segment of SEC Fanatic that usually focuses on one to two SEC teams leading up to the 2018 college football season. Today we're going to be taking a look at LSU, but before we get started, go ahead and take a look at our YouTube, Stitcher, or iTunes links, and they'll be in the description. That is our full podcast that has great interviews, SEC news, all that fun stuff. This is just a small portion that I wanted to do separately so I didn't overload the podcast with too much. So, again, this is the YouTube exclusive. Go ahead and check out our main podcast at SEC Fanatic on the YouTube, iTunes, or Stitcher. Today, we're going to be taking a look at LSU. In 2017, they went 9-4, and 6-2 and two in the SEC, and the big issue, like a lot of other teams, has been inconsistency. All you have to do to look at inconsistency is look at the fact that they lost at home to Troy for homecoming, and then beat Auburn at home later in the season. So there was some very inconsistent marks for LSU. The defense was consistent, however. It, it was more so the offense that was inconsistent. And so when they lost, the offense usually wasn't producing. Now, this def the defense was not elite, but they weren't bad. It was, it was good defense. And so, but it, it couldn't compensate for an offense. As a defense, you, you're most likely the other team's going to score at some point. So the offense has to be able to compensate for that. So when the offense could not compensate for that, they lost. When they when the offense could, then they won. You had kind of a quarterback toss up in the middle, and they finally settled on Danny Etling towards the end of the season as their main go-to guy. But they lost him. Danny Etling is out as well as star running back Darius Geis and defensive end Arden Key. And those are three massive losses for this LSU team. The offense now doesn't have the bruising backs that it's had in Geis and Fournette before. And so the coaches have admitted that they're starting to transition to be more of a passing offense. Great. You have wide receivers coming back. Wait a minute. You don't have a quarterback coming back. So they're going to have a reboot at quarterback. They're going to have to do a reboot at running back. So their questions are on offense, just like last year. So the defense is really the defense is really elite. They have elite starters. But if they get hurt, if they go down, that's where they get into trouble because LSU has talent, but they're young. The backups for these guys are freshmen and sophomores and that's going to be an issue if they get hurt. And so quickly building up that depth for the LSU defense and finding answers on offense very quickly is going to have to be key for LSU in 2018. I don't think the defense will be elite because of that young depth. I think that you get towards the end of the season and players will start to get hurt on the starting team. Who's going to step up for them? I don't know because most of their backups are fairly young. Experienced, yes, but young. And so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I think the defense will be good. I don't know about elite, but I think there'll be a good defense. The question is really, how is this offense going to develop to be able to answer to that defense like last year? There's going to be, I feel like, a lot of similarities between this year's LSU team and last year's LSU team. I don't see that much separation between the two when you take a look at them. So the questions will be definitely on offense. How will the new running backs respond? How will the quarterbacks develop? All these kinds of things. It doesn't look like they'll be that strong this year. I just have to admit, it looks like they'll be good, but not great. Taking a look at their predictions, I'm taking, uh, I'm using seccountry.com, and they predict them to go eight and four. So about the same as last year, with that bowl game win last year. So. LSU looking to make another bowl game again this year, but not contesting for the SEC West. They say that they will have wins over Southeastern Louisiana, Louisiana Tech, Ole Miss, Florida, Georgia, I'm not sure if I agree with that, Mississippi State, and Arkansas with losses to Miami, Auburn, Alabama, and Texas A&M. 
even if they if they lose to Georgia, then that's a seven and five. So you're looking between a seven and five, eight and four, about the same as last season. Looking to make it to a bowl game. I mean, LSU could very well surprise everyone and win the SEC West. But I just don't see that happening with new quarterbacks, with new running backs, with questions on offense and young backups on defense. I think that, like I said earlier, this LSU team will be good, just not great. This has been a preseason preliminary. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And we'll be back again next week, next Friday, with an examination of South Carolina heading into the 2018 college football season. Thank you guys again for your time. And remember, check out our main podcast, SEC Fanatic, at YouTube, Stitcher, or iTunes. Thank you guys for watching. This has been SEC Fanatic's YouTube-exclusive preseason preliminary.